The street vendors say it's been much more difficult in recent years to operate in Orange County. You can see the crackdown in the city of Fullerton. At least five taco stands shut down by the OC Health Department with equipment seized by Fullerton Code Enforcement late last night. They impounded, you know, uh, about, I would say, like 60% of my stuff. Going to be like 30 days or whatever, you can get it back, but that's, that's not going to happen. Cities across Orange County with some of the most strict regulations in the permit process have been stepping up enforcement. I think it's unfair and unjust especially with a lot of hearsay from the government saying that they're supporting these local vendors. But where is the support if they're cracking down? This is our community, and we appreciate these local vendors and what they do. It comes on the heels of the governor signing a bill aimed at streamlining the county health permit process. I went through every single door they asked me to knock and hurdle, and uh, I got you know, resellers, a business license for the state, city. But vendors like Peter Casada say it's been nearly impossible with confusing and time-consuming requirements, including insurance, certain more expensive equipment, and police fingerprinting. When you go to knock on that last door and say, hey, I need a spot, they say that there's no such thing, you need to go get a truck or whatever. You know, which which I get, but I don't have a hundred thousand dollars sitting to go buy a truck. They're working hard, breath of the families, for a job that not a whole lot of people want to go ahead and do. So do I want to see them away? No. Do I think it's unjust? Absolutely. Here in Fullerton, those street vendors have to pay an impound fee of $710 and have to have a valid permit in order to get their belongings back. Meanwhile, many of them say this process is not only confusing, but meant to keep them from operating. Reporting from Fullerton, I'm Mario Ramirez, Fox 11 News.